You may think you're the center of universe for people around you, but if you have no respect or regard for them, their likes or dislikes, then that relationship is doomed. Hey there, my name is Aparna. I'm a coach. Every week I bring to you tips, tricks, tools and hacks that can help you upskill your life. And if you like this sort of a thing, do consider subscribing to my YouTube channel or following me on the page that you're watching me today. Respect is said to be the cornerstone of a healthy relationship. It is a foundation along with trust, honesty, communication and of course love. We often confuse love with respect. You can respect someone and not really love them. But can you really love someone and not respect them? One of my clients decided to explore these questions because while she loved her partner, she felt that there was not much respect left between them. And this confused her. And as we began digging deeper, she realized or became aware of her feelings and the equation that she was in. Respecting means accepting and honoring your partner for who they are rather than pushing your own version on who they should be. Of course, such relationship exists or persists for years together, but that would be a life of compromise and not many of us would want to have that life, right? So my endeavor all this month is to create videos that focus on relationship with those that matter. And today, I specifically would want to talk about respect. So how can you tell if you have respect in your relationships? Here are five not so obvious indicators that are often overlooked. One, zero appreciation. Where there is respect, there will be appreciation for all kinds of accomplishments, big or small. Not acknowledging what you have accomplished in your life, your career, with kids, with the house, no matter how tiny it is, is a sign of disrespect. Two, always critical. If there's no appreciation, is there a lot of criticism? Are there negative remarks on something or the other? It could be on any of your choices or decisions, past or present. Unwarranted criticism is very disrespectful and hurtful as well. One can be critical of a behavior based on a situation and that's okay. But what's not okay is being critical about who they naturally are. Excessive criticism tends to destroy the sense of self-worth. Three, constant guilt trips. Making one feel guilty about everything and reminding them of their previous mistakes constantly to score a point is extremely disrespectful and distasteful. In fact, it is done with a purpose to manipulate. I've recently learned the word for it, gaslighting. It's a form of an emotional abuse where your partner tries to make you doubt yourself all the time. Four, crossing boundaries. Being indifferent and blinded to your feelings, but there is an expectation to cater to their feelings all the time is, according to me, taking you for granted. And this happens when there is an erosion of respect. That's crossing personal boundaries that we tend to set for ourselves. Five, zero compromise. Healthy relationships thrive on equality. All of them have to compromise at some point so that you can win some and you lose some not compromising on anything and having an attitude of my way or the highway is a sign of disrespect. So those are the five not so obvious indicators that tell you whether there is respect in your relationships or not. So going back to the original question, can you love someone and not respect them? I'd like to hear your thoughts. Do let me know in the comment section below or you may DM me in any of the social media handles that I'm in. Thank you so very much for watching. If you like this video, do hit the like button and share it with those who you think need to hear this today. And I'll see you next week with another compelling topic on relationships. Until then, take good care of yourself.